What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate and Parse JSON. So Parse JSON is one of my most popular videos on this channel, uh, and it's, it's popular for a very good reason. It allows you to do so much with its control. Um, you can like filter out all the JSON that you get and then pull out individual bits, which is really handy if you are connecting to, say, a, a third party API or somewhere else where you're going to be getting JSON back. Now, in that video, I showed how to get your, how to generate your JSON schema from an array that I was creating in an earlier step, which is really good. It, you know, it kind of showed that, but to really show you some of the, the top tips and some of the easy ways to do this, one of the best things to do is actually show you a real world example. So right here, I've got a CDS connector um, inside a CDS current environment connector. And the, the response I'm going to get back is going to be in a JSON format. So one of the things that you can do is you can use that sample schema to get to generate it. And this is, this is my top tip for getting something. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a, another step to this. So I'm just going to click a compose action, compose uh, if it wants to work, maybe it doesn't want to work, click on new step, come on, I guess it doesn't want me to show you this great, uh, this great goodness here, here we go, compose. So I'm just going to use this action here um, and just show you what I mean. So just put a, a random value in here of true. So we'll click on test and we'll just run this from a previously run test, which is all fine. And we can see that we get this JSON body. So this is what we mean here. So this output here, this JSON is a sample schema. So if I copy this to my clipboard and then I go back to edit and then if I add an action in here and type parse JSON uh, and choose this operation, I get this bit. So the content is where I'm actually getting this thing from. So, the, so the, the, the content is like the action or where I'm getting it from. So we'll uh, use piece of content there and we'll type body into here. And where I'd get that body. Now, the schema is something that you can write yourself, but this is where the generate from sample is really, really powerful. You click generate from sample, and it says insert a sample JSON payload. So if I just copy this into here and paste this into here, I'm taking all of that JSON that I triggered in that first flow and putting it straight into here so that I can get that schema created for me. This is really, really powerful because there will be occasions where you just don't want to write that JSON yourself, uh, that JSON schema yourself, because why would you? Um, yeah, there are programs that will do it for you. Yeah, there are people that can write it. I can't write it. I can kind of understand JSON um, and kind of understand how to create a schema for this, but I'm not going to do that. I'm always going to use this sample payload of JSON. So the first thing you should do whenever you need to do this is you should go off and you should um, just run your flow first, get that sample payload, and then just insert it into here. So I've copied this into here, click done, and then we can see this. So it's saying that this JSON is an object, so there's an object coming back, uh, and the first thing, industry code, is an integer. Then it's saying the industry label is a string. And then it's saying, uh, you know, the state code label is a string. The state code is an integer. It's created that whole schema for me by using that generate from sample. So, so the best tip I can give you, especially if you want to use like, you know, JSON like this, is to actually just paste, like just run your flow, even if it's gonna fail or just, you know, do what I did here and create a compose action and just, just have it as just nothing or true in this instance, you can't have nothing in compose action, but just run it first, generate that sample, and then you can use the outputs from it. So right now I can use any parts of that JSON uh, output. So I could get, you know, um, any of these bits, so I could get um, modified on, or I could get, you know, name for instance, or, or, or something else. So there will be, so I can get those two just pulled out and I can test this again and run this. Um, click save and test. 
uh, and just wait for this to run. And then we can see here, it's taken that content from this first step, it's parsed that JSON, it's given, it's gone through the schema, it's pulled that out, um, and this is the output, and then we can use those actions here. So that's a really, really useful way for you to actually get information uh, and generate that sample payload for your JSON. So a lot of times, like well, nearly 99% of the time, if I'm not creating like an array or a string myself, I'm oh, unless I'm an array or an object myself, I'm going to just trigger a flow, copy that body out, that JSON body, and then I'm going to paste it into that sample payload because that's going to save me so much time. So this is a really awesome tool and a really awesome tip to save you lots of time um, and probably headaches trying to generate your own JSON schema. Now, if you already have your JSON schema and things like that, then that's great. You can use that. You can just paste that in, um, in into here and you don't need to generate from sample. But they give you that generate from sample because it's a really awesome tool. So really use it, generate from sample and make your JSON life easier. So here we go. So I hope that was useful to you. Um, I hope you liked this video. I hope that gave you a tip. If you knew it already, great. If you didn't know it, I hope that was useful. Um, if you did find it useful, if you could like and share it with your friends, that'd be much appreciated. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.